What I have with me is an Ant Miner R4. It's one of the largest miners out there, one of the heaviest. It mines about 8 terahashes per second, which is pretty impressive. It has the latest chip by Bitmain and it is not working. This is one of those items that have been running for a long time and stopped working. It can happen, but today I'm gonna find out if I can salvage this. Either see if I can repair it, which is less likely because it's electronics, and I'll see if I can actually salvage some parts and sell them to get some of my money back. Um, I think this is a pretty regular procedure if you're running a mining business or any business. You're gonna try to get your money back in every way possible, make some profit or cover some losses as much as you can. So this is part of me doing this, taking it apart, see what I can sell or salvage. Let's start by taking out the main board. Now it might be the main board, but I have a suspicion that the mining boards are actually broken, not the main board. So the way those miners work is you have a main board like this, where the fans, this in this situation it's one fan, but the fans and the boards connect to it. Now I'll show you how the boards look like and they look a little different from miner to miner. And here is the main board. It's actually very easy to take off. You don't need any screws or anything. You kind of like uh, take it off with those clips and you just pull it right out. Now to know if this is damaged or not, it's really hard because I don't have any working boards to test it with. But I'm going to assume that this is okay. I will try to do some more testing to find out. Now let's see if we can find any damage for the mining boards themselves. Now there is a fan here and it actually works perfectly like new. I tested it and it goes up all the way to 3000 RPM, which is the correct amount. It pushes a lot of air, it's quiet, so it works fine. I just have to clean it up and that's about it. Now let's go ahead and take the boards out. So as you can see here, we have uh, two boards. Make sure to wear a static free wristband, especially if you have carpeted house, because it might affect your electronics. Now to take off the boards is usually, uh, you usually have to take off this fans when it comes to the ant miner, S9, S7, or all those ones with the two fans, the loud ones, but this is like a home miner. So it doesn't have a front fan. It just kind of have an opening where the hot air comes out from. So I'm gonna take those off, those few screws here to hold, the, those hold the boards and we're gonna see what's inside. My goal is to try to see if I find any capacitor that is blown up or to see any general damage that might be causing the issue and see if I can maybe fix it. And if not, I could just sell those parts as not working on Amazon to let someone else to try to fix it. But the case, at least, I believe that once I take all the parts out, I believe I can sell the case as used and working condition because it does work and I did test it and I just have to clean it up from all the dust. But then other than that, people can just put the boards in and, uh, you know, just replace the whole case and the fan at the same time. So the reason why I'm making this video is because I want to show you that there is ways to salvage your ASIC miner in some ways and generally you can be smart about it and maybe save you some money. If you have a big mining farm, you have a lot of those parts around, you know, used miners that maybe stop working or a mix of parts and stuff like that. So this is a good way for you to kind of like, you know, reduce your losses or increase your profit. Now let's see if I can just take out those boards out. Oh yeah, I can just take them out. Be very careful here. And here is one board. This is the heatsink that in the front and the back of the hashing boards. Now I'm trying to look if I see any problems with the hashing boards and so far I actually don't see any issues. Sometimes it can be, you know, the issue can be so small that you can't even see it. First board looks good. Let's check the second board. I'm trying to look again for same thing. See if I can see any issues. Wow, everything actually looks really, really good. Well, yeah, that's it. Well, I can tell you right now that I can salvage this part right here because it is functional. I'll just clean it up really well and test it again just to make sure it works well. But this is part that is salvageable. The other parts are pretty much not salvageable unless I have another unit to test it with, which I don't really have right now. And uh, so those will be sold as is for parts. So that's it guys, just, you know, just a little advice for you guys to try to salvage everything in your life, you know, uh, if you can, why not other than throw it to the trash? And you know, some things happen, sometimes things doesn't work the way you want, but there's always ways to kind of salvage things around and make things a little better than just total loss. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check the link below for my giveaway. I'm giving away nine video cards and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.